In this lesson, we're going to explore using the Python window inside ArcGIS Pro, and we're going to look at the buffering methodology. It's going to be very similar to what we did inside of the IDE doing buffering, except this time we'll see the results immediately on the map. So the map that you're looking at right now is a United States map by population, and there are point file loaded on the map which are locations of grants. So first thing we have to do is turn on the Python window. So we need to come over to the view tab and we need to select Python window. And when we look at the Python window this top entry empty area here is going to be where we're going to see our Python code. This one row down here at the bottom will be where we'll enter the Python that we're going to be using. And this is going to be done in an immediate mode type look. So I'm going to click there. We can see the cursor has changed. And I'm going to start with from ArcPy import the environment. It's immediately executed because I'm in the immediate mode. We're going to use an environment statement. And I need to know where is this data stored at. So I'm going to right click on the point file, go down to properties, go to source, and I'm just going to copy the pathway and say OK. Put a quotation mark, paste it, the back quotation marks are there, space out of it, and I'll press enter. And so that has been executed. We need to know where we're going to input our data from. So the feature input equals our quotation mark. I'm going to come back over here, right click, again go to properties. Again, go to the source here, and there's the actual file. It was stored in a geo database as we got before, but there's the actual file we're going to work with. I'm just going to say OK. I'm going to paste that file in, and I'm going to space out and hit enter. So that is going to be our input file, our feature output file, equal quotation mark and I need to put that R in there so I'm going to go outside the quotation marks back inside the quotation marks and I'm going to call this college geocode underscore ATE underscore buffer kind of a lengthy name there but it is descriptive space out and I'm going to hit enter. So I now have where the input file is coming from, what we're going to name the output file, which is going to contain the buffers. And the last thing I need is to know the radius of the buffer. So I'm going to put a quotation mark there. And I'm going to say 35 miles, space outside the quotation mark, hit enter. And then the last command will be the actual command that actually does the buffering. So it's going to be arcpy dot analysis dot buffer parenthesis. It's going to be the input feature. There you can see it's came up for me. It's going to be the input feature comma, the output feature, comma, the radius. I'm going to space outside of it. Hit enter. The command is being executed. And we can see each of our dots now has a buffer about it that has a radius of 25 miles. I'm sorry, a radius of 35 miles.